Hey players, have you ever spent time around your crush and wondered what you could do to make her feel more comfortable around you? Well in this episode, I'm going to teach you the three step guide to touching a girl. I was asked this question by the Max and Jackson show and I think this topic can be a very touchy subject. Get it? Touchy subject? There's a lot of talk nowadays about the huge problem of plenty of guys approaching girls and creeping them out. But another huge problem that we're failing to address is that most guys don't know how to approach them. So when it comes to touching a girl and not in any overtly sexual way, there is a method to the madness. The first step is to always touch a girl with a reason behind your touch. Don't be one of those creepy guys who try to slip their arm around the girl when she isn't looking. Those guys start touching the girls without any context or reason in the situation. And while they think they may be making advancements, if the girl's not aware of what you're doing, then you're not really doing anything. Instead, touching her with a reason might include something like high-fiving her if she says something cool, grabbing her hand to emphasize a point, and tapping or touching her on the shoulder as you speak. The key here is to learn how to work being physical into how you communicate. If you're the kind of person that just digs his hands into his pockets, of course it's gonna be weird when you touch her because she's not used to that from you. One thing that people often forget is that if you meet a new girl, you have the ability to control the tone of the conversation. So if right from the get-go she sees that you're a normal and interactive guy, then she's not going to think anything of it later on. The second step is to escalate your physicality as you get to know her better. So for example, if you normally tap her on the shoulder, don't always just tap her on the shoulder. When you start to see that the comfort between you two is really there, don't be afraid to just lock arms with her, put your arm around her shoulder, or even grab her around the waist. Because all of this will help set up the framework for later. If you find yourself going on dates with the girl but never escalating, when you finally go in for the kiss, she's gonna be weirded out because you've never done something like that before. Touch is like a pot of boiling water. You have to let it heat up first before you toss your food into it. That was weirdly sexual. And the third step is to always respect her when she feels uncomfortable or says no. Look, consent is consent, and I don't want to spend too much time debating what that means. Just remember that touch is always a two-person experience. If you operate with only your feelings in mind, then you're going to neglect hers and make her feel uncomfortable, which will counteract everything you're putting in the effort to do here. If you want to learn more about how to not creep out girls and maybe have been labeled with that before in the past, definitely check out my video on how to not creep out girls right here. What do you guys think though? Have you ever been too nervous to touch your crush? Leave your comments below so we can talk about it. If you feel scared, then you're gonna come off as being scared. And trust me, you're doing nothing wrong by adding touch into your repertoire, just like you do with talking to the girl. In fact, try to incorporate all five of your senses into the experience. That way you're more aware of her needs, the vibe you're giving off, and it'll be a lot easier to step out of your own head. As always guys, love and peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I make a new video every Tuesday on a range of different topics, including self-help, dating, philosophy, and more. Plus, if you want exclusive stories and tips that I don't share in my videos, make sure to sign up for the Josh Speaks newsletter. The link is in the description below. For those of you who've been watching for a long time, let me know in the comments how long you've been watching. Really wanna see who's the oldest subscriber, who's the newest subscriber. I want to talk to each and every one of you, so get down there and make it happen.